G'day, Tragic here, and welcome to the next Lord of the Rings. We're going to be playing Conflict at the Crack, which is a bit of a fan favourite. It's a very unusual quest. It has a lot of strange specialities that you got to take care of. We'll get to that in a sec. Let's have a quick look at our hand. This is a good hand. We have the most important cards, which is two sets of threat reduction. Everything else here is a bonus. The untap, very good. The quick strike, very good. Card draw, very good. And we have a quester. So this is a really great hand. So we're going to pass on the mulligan. Now I'm going to try and use the cameras to sort of bounce around the, the board now because I had a few people say that the panning around too much it was a bit hard for people to see what's going on so I'll try and keep an eye on that what have we got going on here this is a very met hand we have a lot of card bounce so we've got three bounce cards which is very good right, we've only got one eagle it is Landreval which is helpful and we've got a faint so this isn't a particularly great hand. I think we can do better. I mean, it's not a bad, this actually is a good hand, especially because it's got three bounce cards that'll come in very handy. And having Landrevol is super handy in case we have a bad opening. But I think I'm gonna mulligan this and just see what we get. Yeah, okay, so we still get Landrevol. We've got a much harder to use uh, Faint. We've got support of the Eagles, and we've got threat reduction. So this is a much better hand. Okay, so let's just check out this quest. This is an unusual quest. It's got a lot of really weird things in it. For starters, we have all these trolls. There's four of them, and they all do different things. They all buff each other, like this one's plus defense this one's plus attack this one adds threats and you know all sorts of weird things and what happens is as soon as we get past the first stage all of these guys get added to the staging area and we have to deal with them all at once so it's a very unusual quest because it's all, unlike most quests it's about managing your quest progress so what the goal of this is you'll note all these guys attack at 34 we want to stay under 34 threat. That's why getting the anti-threat cards in our opening hands are so important. And we want to take our time nice and slow and get these boards, both the player boards, to be super strong so they can deal with all these monsters at once. Okay, so let's get into this. While searching for Golem at the Anduin Valley, you receive word that a group of trolls have come to the Karok. And it's just saying, take out the four trolls, take out the sack cards, and blah, blah, blah. Now, the Karok is up here. We can't travel here, except for the using card effects. Like, the, when we go to the next stage of the quest, we automatically travel here. And it's immune to player effects, so you can't use Northern Tracker or whatever to get rid of it. And you can't even put Mathens on it or anything like that. And it adds plus one attack and plus one defense to all trolls while it's active. So even though these guys say four attack two defense, they're actually five attack, three defense, at least while this is in the traveled location, as in it's down here. Also, over here we have these sacked cards. Now these cards, there's five of them in the deck and we take four of them out and then we add one for each player. Now what's interesting is actually in the deck is a very nasty card called Roasted Slowly. You'll note that it also has the hill trolls from Journey Down the Anduin, which are arguably even worse than the other trolls from the Karak. But here we are. This is the card we really got to worry about. Roasted slowly. Destroy all heroes with the card sacked attached. So this card comes out. It's a condition attachment. They get sacked. They cannot attack, defend, commit to a quest, trigger its effect, or collect resources. They're basically removed from the game. Pretty bad. And then we have to worry about these guys coming out and killing us. And that is why it's very good to have Landrevol around to save someone. Okay, so we're just going to add two cards, one for each player. 
And the next the next one is As this area is under the watch of the Bornlings, you seek out their leader Grimborn the Old and discover he has already set out in rage. You follow, hoping to find him before you confront the trolls. After placing the seventh progress token, the Karak becomes the active location. So after we finish this, it goes down here. And this is the deal. Seven quests. That's all we do. That's all we've got. We've got seven quest points to place. And then we have to fight all the monsters. And it's all about getting our board in a position that can deal with that. Okay, so this guy, we always make this guy the first player, by the way. And let's get into this. So let's uh, draw our cards. And get, oh, look at that. We drew Steward of Gondor. Excellent. Right, let's get into this. Burning Brand, fantastic. So we're going to go one, two, and place out our quester. And then just go quest and quest. Then over this side of the world, I'm going to go one, two, place out a blocker. And then I'm going to go quest and quest. Now, Theodred has an interesting ability. After Theodred commits to a quest, choose a hero committed to that quest, add one resource to that hero's resource pool. So, basically, he's a really underrated character, in my opinion. I mean, he's kind of like a weak version of Steward of Gondor. It means that everyone, every time he taps the quest, someone will get a resource. So, I'm just going to go bam and give it an extra resource to Thalen. And that means we're earning basically three tactics resources a turn. Well, we're going to be earning uh, two from here as well. So we're going to be earning five resource tactics a turn at the moment, which is good because we have quite expensive cards we need to play. Okay, your blammo. So we're plus four, which isn't very much, but it's best to be a little bit lower than higher. Because like I said, we don't want to quest too quickly. The perfect number I think is questing for five. There are two cards in here that really hurt us. One is a location that has five threat on it. Okay, so let's go your blammo and your blammo. Perfect. So that is one to pass. That's exactly what we want. This guy will come down and attack us. And we're gonna defend with Denethor. Now Denethor, he's a blocking god. Now, he's got three defense, which is fantastic. And yeah, there are other three defense characters, especially later on in the game. But for the early sets, he is, in my opinion, the best blocker. He doesn't have a lot of health, but that three defense is easy to buff. He's already a lore character, so he can take Burning Brand without needing any songs or anything. And the most important thing, he only costs eight. He's like so cheap. Dane, for example, is a three blocking, five health super dwarf. A very strong card, but he's like 12 points. Anyway, we're going to block. Let's reveal. Ah, Misty Mountain Goblin. Remove one progress token from the current quest. Excellent. Yoink. Our goal is to get one of these guys onto our player board and farm him to keep the quest down. So just never kill him. Now remember, this guy did get one token. Oops, wrong button. This guy did get one wound from, you know, Thalen. And then we're going to attack using Brand. And this is going to attack across using range for three. And he has this ability, after Brand attacks and defeats an enemy engaged with another player, choose and ready one of that player's characters. So he's going to attack for three along with this guy for five, that kills this bloke. We're gonna untap Denethor, and then we're gonna tap him to use his scry ability. So we just go blam, and scry the encounter deck. And we have this thing, which we're gonna to send to the bottom of the deck, a frozen beast. It's a nasty card, your block. Okay, and that, my friends, is the first turn. Ah, beautiful. We find, and we get Misty Mountains. This is this is the card we're looking for, and we've already got support of the Eagles, so we're doing very well. 
Unfortunately, this guy costs four. We've only got three, but we're going to go one, two. Play out our Steward of Gondor. Tap, give him two more. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. And put out the eagle. Over this side, we have a Song of Kings. We don't need that for now. We're going to go one, two, and place out... Burning Brand, and I'm going to go one, two, and place out Unexpected Courage. I'm then going to quest and quest with Denethor and quest with Throdo, quest with Theodred and quest with Thalen, and I'm going to use Theodred's ability to add a resource to Denethor because he's now questing, and that'll allow us to play Glowwine next turn. We're still only plus four. I forgot to travel to the banks of the Anduin because I'm so forgetful. Now we're plus five, that makes more sense. So let's draw your blamo. Remove four progress tokens in the current quest card. That's very unfortunate that we got that so early. And blam, it's another bank of the Anduin, so that's plus four. One, two, three, four. And this goes on the top of the deck. Now there's no monsters, so we know that the first card coming out next turn is actually going to be a Banks of the Anduin. So we know it's going to be only plus one threat. Travel down here, of course. Okay, let's uh, do the next turn. And we're gonna go one, two, and place out Glowwine. Hmm, and we're going to go quest, quest, and add a resource from Theodred to Frodo. And I think I'm going to tap you. And draw on this side. Excellent. Rivendell Minstrel, perfect. Okay, so. Over here, we're going to go tap, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Place out another eagle. Quest, quest. Okay, this is giving us plus three. We know that the first card coming out is only going to add one threat. The majority of the other cards are just plus two threats, so I'm just going to risk it with plus three. Banks of the Anduin. And bam, sacked. Attached to a hero. Bammo. So the first sat card is out. I'm going to drop it on here. And this will just get rid of his resource token. Okay, so he's sacked. And basically out of the game now. Not cool. But them's the breaks. We have plus two. So that's one, two. We tap. Come on, tap Denethor again. Oh well, we'll tap Denethor one more time. And do the encounter deck. We're going to leave that at the top so we know two's coming in. And let's refresh. Let's try not to use Denethor next time. <laughs> okay, so let's tap you and go one, two. Then we're going to go. Well, that's about all we can do. We can't really do anything else. Quest and quest over this side. Beautiful, we've got Mine of the Iron Hills. That allows us to remove condition attachments, which is what the sacked card is. So what we want to do now is look at one, two, three, and cast our first threat reduction. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to go quest, and I am going to quest with Denethor again. And I'm going to add one resource from Theodred to Denethor, because we want to save up for both the Riverdale Minstrel and for the Mine of the Iron Hills. And let's tap this guy, and I'm going to draw here. And we are now questing for plus two. We know that two's coming out, so we're actually questing for zero. So that means we're now 
plus three. So, bam, and bam. Oh, another sacked, controlled by the first player. So, we would have had to place this on him. I didn't realize that that had to go on the first player. You know, I've never played that. Don't worry. Uh, if I just spend one more resource off Frodo, that would count for the resource that he gained that he shouldn't have. And now we'll just put sat here. Okay, so that's plus three. One, two, three. This is discarded and placed on the top. And we'll travel to the next location. Bam, and you blam. Wow, got all our minstrels. Let's tap you, draw another card. Ah, beautiful, another miner. So we're gonna go one, two, place out a miner. And I think I'm gonna take this guy off. Let's uh, give him back his resources. And then I'm gonna go quest, quest. Get a resource from Theodred. Quest, quest. Choose an ally, okay, and that's a nice card. That's a new addition to the deck, by the way. And otherwise, I've got nothing here we really want. Tap that, one, two. And what are we doing with our questing power? We're plus four. We know that the first one coming out is gonna be the banks of the Anduin. So we're plus three. So blam, blam. That gives us one progress token, and this guy will attack us. We're going to untap. He gets one wound, by the way. We're going to untap Denethor using uh, Unexpected Courage, and then we're going to block with him. Blip. Beautiful. Get rid of the Hill Troll. Go away, Hill Troll of Annoyance. And then we're attacking for one, two, three. This guy has one attack, which is pretty good. Not a lot of lore and spirit have attack values. If we're attacking for three, he's got one defense, so that gives him two wounds. He's already got one, so that's three wounds, he's dead. Actually, well, technically that wouldn't have happened. What would have happened is, because the hill troll had no shadow effect, he would have gone up into the staging area. But Denethor can attack into the staging area, and when he does, he gets plus one attack, so it's still attacking him for three. He's still dead. Okay, so now we're doing a bit of a blind run. We don't know what's coming next. But we can definitely get some more cards. Tap you, get another two resources. Out come you. Meanwhile, over here, we're going to go one, two, and place out another miner and get rid of this sacked card. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, and play out the Dwarven Tomb, which allows us to take greeting into our hand, and then we play that for three. So by spending four resources with a tome, you can play greeting again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's double tap you. I think we're kind of set over here. I'm going to start drawing on this side of the table now using Glowwine. Okay, quest and quest. And I'm going to quest with Denethor. Of course, I quest with Theodred and Thalen. That gives him one extra resource from Theodred. And that is giving us plus three. We don't know what's coming. We do have a slight buffer where we've got two here. So I'm also going to quest with... Actually, this guy gets another, another resource token, by the way. Because you've unsacked him. 
So I think I am going to quest with Leandrovol as well. Just give us plus four. And then I'll have to do it. So a plus four. We might go up in threat this time. Bam. Bam. Negative one. There you go. So that's click, click, negative one. Still no, <laughs> no monsters. So we're doing very bad not getting monsters. So draw another one. Got another tome. Excellent. Let's go one, two, three. Place out the Rivendell Minstrel, which is our tutor. Going to search our deck. And we're going to grab the Song of Tactics. Here it is. Song of Battle. And he's going to spend one resource from here and play it. Now, all the songs are all neutral, so you can use any color to, to pay. Okay. I'll put this like here. Okay, then we're going to go quest, quest. You're going to add one resource of Theodrid. Quest, quest, and I'm going to tap you, draw a card. Okay, we've got our first bounce card, finally. Tap, one, two. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Place out another eagle, and place out support of the eagles onto Denethor. This is a very strong card. You'll see this in action in a sec. Quest and quest. Now we're questing for nothing, so I'm gonna go blam and blam. It's gonna give me another plus four. I'm gonna go blam, gives me a plus six. So six, if we get two treacheries, that'll be plus four to the quest. So that's four, five, six, seven. So gotta be careful here, because we're plus six, right? If these whiff and we don't get anything going into the staging area, we'll actually complete this quest which we don't want to do. So we're going to have to take one of these guys out. And hope we don't... Uh, I think I'm going to do Landreval. Make it a plus five. Five is usually a good suit. Give us a monster. Ooh! Destroy all heroes with the card sacked. Luckily we got those dwarves, so none of them came out. And the second one, the location, plus four. So that's one, two, three, four. We're now at five progress. Let's travel to the bee pastures. You blam. After you travel to bee pastures, search the encounter deck and discard pile for Grimborn the Old and add him to the staging area. This is the guy we've been, remember it said that we were sort of searching for someone? Well, this is he. He's an ally, and you basically pay eight resources that have to be leadership, and he joins the first player. And he kind of bounces around, so whoever's first player, he'll be on his side. So he'll start here, and then he'll move over here. But he only costs eight resources, and we've already got five resources on Theodred, so we'll be able to pick him up next turn. Still no monsters, and more importantly, no nothing that allows us to remove progress tokens. So we've got to be very careful with our questing now. Excellent, we've got another bounce, but we still haven't got Descendant of Thorndor, which is a huge pain. Let's tap you and go one, two. Then we're going to go one, two, three, and place out a second Support of the Eagles. Yes, there is nothing to say that you cannot place multiple Support of the Eagles on the same hero. So we now have two support of the Eagles on this guy. He's still waiting for his un unexpected courage though. And we're at 29, not good. 
I'll have to cast Gandalf next turn. Raw, which will be a bit of a bummer. Okay, over this side of the world, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and cast another greeting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's tap you. Draw a card on this side. Ah, oh, beautiful. And let's go quest, 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 quest. And we'll put one resource on himself. So you can add resources to himself. And what's that going to give us? That gives us a plus, that's give us a minus one for all those locations. So let's go blam, blam, blam. That'll give us five. There's two points here, so we're actually only plus three. Now, there's only five things up here, so this is very, very dangerous. Okay, let's go. So draw your blammo. Whoa. Come on, we need, we need like a three pointer, a three pointer, come on. Bam! Oh, it's only one, so that is one, two, three, we're at six progress. So we're having a real problem controlling our threat. But luckily the East Blight is out, which is a really good card for us got six progress tokens we have to travel there but it basically doubles our questing we now have seven up here and six down here so that's going to give us a lot of leeway and still no monsters blammo and yeah blammo okay we've got another greeting excellent and we're at eight so we're going to go Quest, 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 quest. I'm going to tap this guy, draw another card over here. Then on this side of the world, let's go blam, one, two. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and place out Radagast. Now Radagast has his own resource pool, which is pretty awesome. You can only use it to cast for uh, creatures, but it's still very good. Now I want to spend one here. Oh wait, it's only eight resources we require, isn't it? Yeah, Grimborn the Old. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and activate him. He's going to come down and join the first player. And quest and quest. Let's add a resource. This guy, we're not questing with him. I've been forgetting to scry the encounter deck like an idiot. So I'm going to add a point to this bloke. We're now at minus two. So let's go quest with this guy as well. We'll also quest with this guy and this guy. And we're now plus three. Let's quest with this guy. We're now plus five. One. Come on, where's some monsters? Oh, and it's a brown lands, which just gives us plus one. Wow, this is pretty frustrating. We haven't got many monsters. Okay, so that's one two, three, another greeting, one, two, three, four, five, six, oops, this is the first player, I've got to do him first as always, one, two, out comes another blocker, click, one, two, and let's go click this guy over here give him another attack power so done here is now sitting at three attack 
forward into the staging area. So we're pretty much getting to the point where we can talk about finishing this. So I'm going to tap this guy, draw another card on this side. And I'm going to go one, two, place out another quester. Tap, get a resource from Theodred. One, two, three, place out another minstrel. Let's search in here and let's get a song of wisdom. And what we're going to do, we'll eventually place song of wisdom onto Frodo in that way, because he's the main quester for the heroes on this side. If he's getting resources from Theodred, that means we'll be able to help cast lore songs. Right. Then quest, 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 quest. Lamb, what are we at? Minus six. Quest, 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 quest. At zero. Quest. Quest plus three. So I'm also going to go quest. We're now plus five. We've got to get through this blight now that this is up here. So I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four and play out Gandalf naturally for four. It gives us plus nine but it will also drop our threat. I think I'm actually going to drop my threat by five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're plus nine. So that's quite a lot of questing power. There's six. So if I take one guy off the questing, we're at seven, that's better. Okay. Draw. Oop, there's an error in my mod. And draw. One, two, three, four, five. Almost. And this guy comes down to attacks us. We'll defend with Denethor. This gets discarded because of the brand. He's got one wound on him. And then I'm going to just attack. He's attacking. He's attacking for three. This guy has no defense. He's got one wound. He only needs three to kill him. So he's gone. And then I'm going to tap Denethor and peek at the encounter deck, which I keep forgetting to do. Ah, finally, a Misty Mountain Goblin. That's going to really help us return to top. And he's plus two. This guy is discarded. Okay, let's tap you, draw again. Man, we have been terrible luck finding our Northern Tracker. Normally we have a Northern Tracker, so we don't have to deal with all this mess of locations. But he's not coming out of the deck for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna spend one off done here and place out our Law song, then go one, two, three, place out our minstrel. That allows us to search in here for another song. And this time, I guess we'll take the spirit and shuffle. Come on, Northern Tracker, we need you badly. Quest, 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 quest. Give him a resource on Theodred. Meanwhile, over this side of the world, tap one, two. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, place out another eagle. Now, we we're only questing for a lowly five, but I want to go blam, blam, blam. We're questing for plus one. Questing for plus three. We know a two is coming out. There's only one progress can go on here. Oh, I'm not, I've got a quest with these guys as well. Okay, so as long as it's not a brown lands, we're good. Come on, this is this is bad. Where's my tracker when I need him? 
blam, blam. Oh, perfect. So we get plus one. That clears the brown lands. And then we're forced to travel to, uh, so that clears the Eastern Blight and we're forced to travel to Bland land, uh, Brown Lands. Blam, he's gone. Both these guys attack. And that will remove two progress tokens from here. Okay, so we're gonna defend twice with Denethor. And now we can start farming cards to clear all the threats. So I'll, I'll flip them over so we can see them. See, we get rid of another brown lands, excellent. These guys attack for two, he's defending at three, and he has the burning brand. So he just taps twice, they're both defended. And we clear two progress tokens off here to control the deck. And we're pretty much set. Uh, these guys both have one wound. And I think I might just, uh, I think I'm just going to leave them like that. I'm going to, I'm going to leave them both up. I want to get, I'm going to get all rid of all those progress tokens. Meanwhile, for the travel, oh, we had to travel to the brown lands, didn't we? So, bam. Okay, we're pretty much set now. We should be able to finish this game pretty easily as soon as we get cards we're looking for. Bam. One, two. Uh, no. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Let's put out this guy. Quest, 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 quest. Move over this side of the world. Let's go blam, place out here. What is? What do we want to go to? Oak and wood, yeah. Perfect. And we're pretty much set here. In fact, let's spend another one of these resources and put out two on that location. Actually, let's put one on that location. Yeah, let's put two on this location. So we'll do a tap here and draw on this side. Okay, so we are now at minus four. Questing with him, obviously, and we'll get one resource added to Thalen. I'm gonna start stacking up resources on this side now. And what are we doing? Uh, we're minus two. So I'm gonna go blam, blam. That'll put us plus two, blam, blam. That'll put us plus six. Six and four will beat us, so Let's take that one off and we'll quest with this guy and he's got one point and that's plus five. Draw, perfect. Remove four progress tokens and now we're set, we've won the game. And blam, this one comes out as well. So that's one, two, three. Yeah, boink. Nice. And then we're gonna travel to this location. Let's go on here. Where's the other? Where's the other one gone? Wasn't there two of these things? Oh, it's underneath. <laughs> Confusing myself a little there. Okay, right. Wow, what a disaster. Okay, the mod needs still needs some work. Whatever. There's two Mathens on that location. Okay, so this guy's attacking twice. We just double tap. Removes two of these pro progress tokens, and we get to send two threats into the discard pile. And I think I'm actually gonna kill one of these guys off now. And I'm also gonna attack with Bane so I can untap Denethor and scry the encounter deck. Plus two. Okay, bam, and you blam. Oh, and here's our tracker, finally. So let's spend one resource off you and place out our spirit song. We can then go one, two, three, four, and out goes the tracker. Meanwhile, on this side, woohoo, an eagle, finally. Search the top five cards of your deck for any eagle cards. Bam, 
So we just search the top five. And any eagle cards we can put into our hand. And look at that, we don't get a single eagle. That is unbelievable. Now, if you're wondering why I'm delaying, is I want a Descendant of Thorondor. That's what I'm looking for. Give me a Descendant of Thorondor and I'll finish the game in a couple of turns. Okay, so let's go quest, quest. Oh, this guy, click and add two. May as well go one, two, three, four. Put out another one of these guys. These are not... Uh, unique or anything and we're going to use Theoge we're going to add a resource to Thalen and we know that there's two coming out so let's go click now technically you should do this all in your head but I find it easier to do it visually and I don't see a reason why I shouldn't do it this way so I am. So purists, you can just go jump in a lake. This guy adds a token to all the program, all the locations in play when he starts. So let's do that now. So that's one, 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 one. That's the Karok, which we which is unaffectable. That we can't affect that. This one gets removed because it only takes one progress token, and all the rest are three points, these ones are two points. That just removes a bit of threat, just to make my calculations easier. We're now on negative eight, so two, four, six, eight. We should now be even, or plus one, big pardon, because we have the tracker down. You're gonna definitely tap this guy, and we've tapped these two guys. Two, four, six, eight, yeah. We're now plus three. I want to put one token on. So I'm also going to tap you. Let's flip over this guy and tap to draw a card. Still no Thorndor. That's unbelievable. We're at plus five. We've got quite a lot of free roam. So I think I'm going to add one more and make it a plus six. Blam. Blam. God, I've got to fix that uh, error in the mod. That's really annoying. That's a new error that I've introduced because I had that working and now it's not working. Okay, so we're plus one. Flip. That's all we need. So that fixes that. Your blammo. And we draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, there he is. We finally get our test of will and we've got another greeting so that's good and we've got another dwarven tomb perfect and now we'll do another travel let's travel to the banks of the anduin wait hang on oh no it was only yeah we're only one ahead okay right and that's that this guy we're going to attack this again we just uh oops i reset the turn instead but i'll just do it now this guy gets discarded as a shadow card we remove one progress token and then i'm going to scry the encounter deck using denethor's ability with the other card it's a sacked so let's return that to the bottom so i think it's time to bring this home what do you reckon we had enough fuffing around. I think our boards look strong enough. What do you reckon? So we still don't have a uh, Descendant of Thorondor. That is just not cool. Oh, I didn't draw cards. That's why. Blam. Still no Descendant of Thorondor. Okay, we're not going to do anything there. On this side, we're going to tap you and draw another card. Be a Descendant. Come on. Unbelievable. Okay, we're not going to do anything. Let's just go blam. And that places one, two, bam, 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 bam. This one has three. This one is three. This one has two. It's cleared. Yeah, two progresses on it. So that's cleared. This one has two. It's cleared. 
three, three. Okay. We need 12. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four. So what's that? Plus four, plus three. Let's go with you. Plus five. Let's uh, put the pedal down. Plus nine. Blammo. Okay. When revealed, each player raises threat by the total will of all the cards in the staging area. Wow. So that is plus 12. But we can discard one creature ally from play to cancel. So we're going to discard this bloke here. He gets discarded. And we finally get to kill one of our eagles, which is amazing to me that we've had so few monsters that is the only drawback if you're requiring monsters if you're acquiring certain cards from the encounter deck if you're using a farmer like we have here and you're sending all the cards into the discard pile from the shadow cards you can often miss out completely but we finally get to kill an eagle and the reason we're happy about that is because eagles of the misty mountains allows us to instead of killing the eagle we actually just attach it like so and it gives him a plus one attack plus one defense so he's now at three attack three defense and the second one is a monster excellent and Guess I'll send this guy down here. We defend twice with Denethor. Both the cards are discarded. We lose one progress token, but we haven't placed any. And then I just go attack for three. That kills that guy. And I'll attack for no reason to get rid of him just yet. Okay, your blammo. And your blammo. Did I draw a card just then? No, I didn't. Unbelievable. Let's tap you. Draw another card. Oh, it's it's just it's a cruel joke that we haven't got descendant out yet. So let's tap this guy, and we're gonna tap this guy, of course, as well as these two guys. And that places one progress, one progress, one progress, one progress, one progress. Okay, so this has three and three tokens. It's discarded. It's the bank of the Anduin. So when it leaves play, it goes on top of the deck. This one is also a banks of the Anduin. Goes on top of the deck. There's only two on that one, two on that one, and two on that one. Okay, I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, and actually just do another tracker. It's going to place another token, another token, another token. So all of these will get cleared. Now, technically, yes, I now know that there's two Andians coming out, and you wouldn't know that until after you've collected, but all I'm doing is planning. You'd still know if you're going to beat these. It's all open information. So this one is cleared. This one is cleared, but it's a Gladian field. So it's actually added to the victory pile. This one is also cleared and it's also a Gladian field. So it's added to the, added to the victory display. Okay. So now we want three. So we want... To clear this so I'm just going to clear it even though we haven't got our descendant which really sucks we're just going to get a move on I suppose so let's go bam 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 and we're plus 14 blam and blam we're plus 12 so that's one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, blank. Nine, we've passed. It didn't really go as well as we want. We could have done this eight. Well, I was just delaying trying to get Descendant of Thorndor. If I had Descendant of Thorndor, the game would be over right now because I'd be able to bounce him all the time using all these cards and put like so much damage into the staging area. It would be ridiculous. You approach the Karok and find that the trolls have been watching you from the top of the Rocky River landmark. Okay. When revealed, place all the unique trolls into play. And of course, the Karok actually enters the area here. So this guy adds plus one defense. So even though these say two defense, they're actually three defense. So let's go blam, 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 blam. So what's the plan now? We need 13 damage to kill them. So how much damage have we got on this side of the board? What this guy is over here, remember, because he is always with the first player. We have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 damage. So we can definitely take one of the trolls. So we're gonna take this guy here, Morris. He adds plus one attack. So let's draw him over here. We're gonna leave the other guys up there. Remember they attack at 34, so we're completely safe. We're gonna block with one of our winged guardians. He gets a shadow card. It is a sniper that does nothing. So he's attacking for four, but remember it's plus one attack from himself and plus one attack from here. So he's actually attacking for six. This guy's defending at five, so he is killed, but we're gonna add him to our eagle stack over here, which gives him another one attack, one defense. And now we're going to attack for four, five, six, seven. Oh wait, what happened here? Oh, I didn't play this card because I'm an idiot. I didn't even tap this. I forgot to do this guy's turn. So obviously we would have played out this card. So that's three, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Four, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and we only need thirteen to kill this guy. He is killed. Ya blammo. This guy is also discarded. Remember, when he's discarded, he's uh when he attacks, he's discarded from play. Which means we had another attack and defense to this guy. He's now attacking for five, nice. Meanwhile, over this side of the world, he gets a card which is the discarded. Technically that would have been discarded first, but both the, both the shadow cards had nothing on them. So it wouldn't have made a difference, luckily. Because this guy's the first player, so technically he would have gone first. Right, and he is going to attack using done here into the staging area. So we tap this one to defend against that bloke. Then we're going to tap with done here into the staging area. Plus we're going to tap support of the eagles, right? And there's no reason we can't, there's nothing in the rules that tell you you can't do it twice. So we're going to tap this twice. So he's attacking for three plus one because of his ability. So he's attacking for four. And we're going to target this guy. So he's attacking for four plus five. That's nine. And we're doing it twice. So he's attacking for 18. And we're going to use that to kill this bloke here, Stuart, which gives damage. And then I'm going to attack with this guy here for three. Oh, then I'm also going to, in the action phase, tap this. 
and just scry the encounter deck. Why not? Oh, a hill troll's coming out. Ah, who cares? <laughs> Return it to the top. Let's just kill it for points. And then I'm going to attack this guy and kill this bloke. Blam. I'm not even going to bother untapping him because... I don't need to, I don't see the point. Okay, let's draw. Draw. Give us a descendant. Descendant of Thorndor. That's all we want is a descendant of Thorndor. Come on! Uh, what do we, wrong button. Come on! Oh my god. Well, we do get, uh, where the eagles are coming, at least. So it's the top five cards. Come on, we've got to be able to find a descendant now. Come on, descendant of Thorndor. Come on, descendant of Thorndor. Yes! And we get another eagle. So we get this eagle, we get this eagle, and we get this descendant. Excellent. Turn to bottom and shuffle. And then we're going to cast another one. Blam. Flip. And there's another one. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's all coming up. Roses. Okay, so let's tap you and go one, two. And let's work out how much damage we can output. Firstly, we're going to go one, two, three, four, play out a descendant. That puts two damage out. Then we're going to go born aloft to put him back in our hand. Yo boink. That's another two damage. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, put out another descendant. That's another two damage. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, put out the other descendant. That's another two damage. Then we're going to go bang and bang to pull them both in. That's another one, two, three, four. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four. Blam. One, two. Then we're going to go flip. Do another bounce. One, two. <laughs> Then we're going to do one, two, three, four, and place another one. That's another two damage. And then one, two, three, four. That's another damage. And then we're going to spend one and place out this guy. Wow, that is crazy. But that's, that's, that's what we, that's the what the deck's designed to do, baby. Okay. So these guys need 10, two, four, six, eight, 10. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Oh, that's all we need. Bam, bam. Both these guys are killed. Now, unfortunately, this quest still needs one point. We still need to place one point on the quest to complete it. So we haven't actually completed it yet. But we did a pretty good job. Meanwhile, over this side of the world, let's just go one, two, three, four. Place out the third tracker. Blam, 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 blam. Flip. Draw. Plus 11, three tokens get placed, three tokens gets placed. So these are both stuck on the top of the deck. And then we draw them back straight out again, because they're both banks of the Anduin. We're plus 11. So this is cleared. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Bammo, and we've cleared. So that was kind of annoying. You know what I should have done? I should have only quested with two of these guys. And then I'd go one, two. I'd still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This would still be cleared. And I could then go spend one resource, do quick strike. And then attack into the staging area using this guy. So he's attacking for three, four, plus five. 
So that's bam, bam, he's attacking for 14. So clicking those two things, we're targeting the same eagle. So he's attacking for 10, plus he's attacking for four, which is 14. 9, 10, 11, 12 is all we need to kill him. So he is also dead. And whatever. That's the end of that. Boom, boom. So <laughs> I went a little bit slower than normal because I was waiting for Thorondor to come out. It's just ridiculous that the Thorondor didn't come out. And we didn't even get our second, our second uh, song. There's another tactic song song of battle which goes on to theodrid so we have access to those leadership resources for that massive amounts of bouncing remember we also had sneak attacks there's just a lot of stuff going on we had all these other eagles we could kill and an interesting thing which uh i should have done but i didn't is when you bounce an eagle back into your hand, the, uh, the Thorondor, it says it leaves play. Now this guy's ability just says when it leaves play. They don't need to be destroyed. So I could have buffed that guy up. I didn't need it, obviously, but I could have buffed that guy up even more by just, uh, you know, not, not keeping those uh, descendants around. Whatever, so that is Conflict at the Karak, murderized by an unusual quest, a quest that's about... A lot of quests in this game are really about rushing through it to try and complete it before it has a chance to do anything. But this quest is kind of unique because it's really all about just setting up a powerful board and doing really powerful fun combos like all that bouncing I did. I even had these two Beyond Keepers, which... Uh, I didn't get to use basically you can discard these guys and they put two damage well it puts one damage on everyone in the staging area so if i have two out i can put two damage on everyone so that was another two damage on every single person as well plus we didn't even need gold grimborn we just paid in the money because we're rich Okay, well that's that. I'll see you guys next time. The quest deck is over here, as always, in the thing. Ready to go. A lot of people have been asking me to post my quests on some website called The Rings Database or DB or something. This is like a an online deck builder, kind of like the Netrunner one. It wasn't around when I used to play the game, so that's how long it's been since I was really into this game. Uh, I use something called Zorbex Deck Builder. So I might uh, add links to that uh, that website and I may also redo my, uh, make a, an option on the Deck Builder here. Maybe a button you can click up here that will change it so it can actually import from that Deck Builder in addition to just from Zorbex. So as always, by the way, if you want to name these decks, just let me know and I'll, you know, add them to the mod. I'll see you guys next time.